Hi, welcome to ME313, Mechanical Engineering Thermodynamics. The topic of this video is gas mixture composition and the section in the textbook is 13.1. Here are the two learning outcomes. At the end of this, you will understand the difference between a mass fraction and a mole fraction we're describing for a mixture, a gas mixture, and able to calculate the molar mass and the gas constant of a two gas mixture. So first let's uh, review what is the difference between a mass fraction and a mole fraction. To remind you, a mole is about 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd anything. You could talk about a mole of people if you wanted. It would be a whole lot of people. But it's a number similar to a dozen. But normally we do use it only when we're talking about molecules because it's such a large number. So let's go ahead and create ourselves a, a mixture of gases. So here I have some, some red molecules, and I'm going to go ahead and mix them in with some blue molecules. And what I want to do is go ahead and calculate the mole fractions and the mass fraction. And so the mole fraction is, well, what fraction of a mole or one fraction of 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules are one and uh, the other? And I don't have to get that large of another. All I need to do is get a representative sample. And so we have that as our representative sample. We can talk about the mole fractions of red ones and the mole fractions of blue. So Mole fraction, we tend to use the symbol Y for that. And so if I talk about the mole fraction of the red, well, in my representative sample, I have six molecules that are red over a total that are 10. And so its mole fraction is 0 0.6. And the mole fraction of the blue is, well, I have four over a total of 10. And so its mole fraction is 0 0.4. Now, alternatively, we can talk about mass fractions, which is well, what fraction of the mass of this representative sample is each one? And so let's go ahead and give these some mass. We'll say the blue ones weigh 10 and the red ones, I'm sorry, the red ones weigh 10 and the blue ones weigh 1. And so if we talk about its mass fractions, well, we'll use the symbol MF for that. And so the mass fraction of the red is, well, in this sample, how much mass is red? And I have 6 and each one weighs 10. So I've got 6 times 10 over a total of, well, I have... 6 times 10, and then 4 times 1, which is the mass of the blue. And so that becomes 60 over 64. And so that mass fraction right there is, is 0 0.923. And so now let's look at what the mass fraction of the blue are. And the, that is going to be 4 over 64. And so that mass fraction right there is 0 0.077. And one of the other things to note is that for both mole fractions and mass fractions, they always sum up to 1 for the whole thing. So I can say the summation of y sub i for each one, if I go ahead and sum i over all the molecules, is always going to equal 1. And the summation of the mass fractions, um, summing over each one, is also going to be 1. And so what I can realize is that each of these, for example, 0 0.077 is 1 minus 0 0.9. Two, three. And so I could have went ahead and calculated my second mass fraction that way. Same thing up here with the mole fractions. Clearly, 0 0.4 is 1 minus 0 0.6. So you can go ahead and do that with either of those when you're calculating the last fraction. Let's go ahead and look at a, another mixture. We'll look at a mixture of some real molecules, some oxygen and hydrogen. This is the problem I have a 60-40 molar mixture. So always be careful to see if it says a molar mixture or a mass mixture. Right? So here it says molar. So that means that 60% of the molecules are oxygen and 40% of the molecules are hydrogen, right? And so what it wants to know is what are the mass fractions, because it gave me what the mole fraction is. So to do this, let's go ahead and we'll look up what the molar mass of each of these is. The molar mass of oxygen is about 32, and the molar mass of hydrogen is about 2. And so we know that we have 0 0.6 of one and 0 0.4 of the other. Those are what my mole fractions in each are. And so now if I want to go ahead and calculate the mass fraction, we take 0 0.6 times 32 over the total 0 0.6 times 32 plus 0 0.4 times 2. And that's going to go ahead and give me the mass fraction of 0 0.957. So that right there is the mass fraction of oxygen. And now we can do that for hydrogen. So 0 0.4 times 2 over the same denominator that I had previously. And that right there is going to give me 0 0.043. And that right there is the mass fraction of hydrogen. Now, remember, I could have also just taken 
1 minus 0.957 and arrive at the same number. Now let's go ahead and find out what would be the mixture gas constant. And this is actually comes up pretty often. And we've done this before, right? We talked about a gas constant of air, which is a mixture of oxygen and hydrogen. So here I want to know what's the gas constant of this mixture of, of, of oxygen and hydrogen. And so what I can do is I can weight it with the mass fractions. And so if I look at what the gas constant is of oxygen, well, the gas constant of oxygen, according to table A1, is 0 0.2. 598 those units are kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin and the gas constant of hydrogen according to that same table is 4.124 units of kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Now since these are per kilogram if I want to go ahead and get an equivalent one I'm going to go ahead and weight it by those fractions so I'm going to have 0 0.2598 times its mass fraction of 0 0.957 and then go ahead and add my 0 0.043 for the hydrogen times 4.124. And that's going to give me a value of R that is 0 0.426. And so kilojoules per kilogram. Kelvin. Now there's another way you can do this, which is kind of mention this, is to find the equivalent molecular weight of the mixture. So I could have done this first. So the molecular weight of the mixture and so I've got a mixture of oxygen and hydrogen. What I could do is weight each one by its mole fraction. And so what I would do is I'd say, okay, well, 0 0.6 times the mole fraction of my, um, of 0 0.6, which is the mole fraction of pipe oxygen, times its molar mass, and then my 40% molar mass of hydrogen tells me the equivalent molar mass, so this is how many kilograms, for example, per kilomole for my mixture, and then I could find my value of R, which is the universal gas constant, divided by the molecular weight. So I take 8.314 and go ahead and divide that by 20. And that right there is going to give me 0 0.42 as well. And so now that's going to be kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And so these numbers are essentially equivalent, a little bit of round off error there. But that would be two different ways to find the equivalent value of R.